He is a little hypothetical. You are a foster carer and you've been looking after a little girl for about 18 months. You're not in a position to look after her full time, but you do get a say in who does. Now, you've got a choice between two families, two possible families. One is a wealthy heterosexual couple, both really hard-working, high-powered jobs. They do have a nanny to help them out. The second option is a low-income family, a gay couple, where one person is going to stay at home full-time to look after the child. Tom, which would you choose? It's probably going to sound contradictory to what I said before, but I would actually put them with the low-income family because I think having at least one of the parents at home taking care of the kid is better than both parents being out at work and there being a nanny. So I'll go with the low-income family, the gay family. We've flipped you, you in have? one quick move. <laughs> Todd. Well, you could solve it by the well, give the kid to the wealthy couple, get the wealthy couple to turf out the nanny, employ the two gays <laughs> to look after the house. That'd be fabulous. A couple of nannies. <laughs> And we get the best of both worlds. Do you think the child would have a, a better future in terms of education and opportunity with a wealthier No, it doesn't make any difference parents? at all. But I, would, I think having a, having a kid there, especially in that gay relationship, because we need a little bit more nurturing because it's a special situation and a unique situation. So I think having one person home the whole time would be great. OK. Denise, what do you think? Yeah, I'm going to go the same, cos I don't think... Money and education and all that is, is it's not, it was never a priority of mine with mm -hmm. my kids. And I think love, children are about love and commitment. 